Today I have spinach. Not everybody's favorite. Potatoes, everybody's favorite. So I'm going to combine the two and make one of my favorite recipes. That's called alu palak or spinach potatoes. Let's start with making the onion paste. Onion, green chilies, ginger, cashew nuts, cumin seed powder. And now I'm going to grind this into a fine paste. And it's ready. The onion paste is ready, so let's start cooking. Heat butter in a pan. You can use ghee or clarified butter also. I'm going to saute this onion paste for at least 4 to 5 minutes. Cook the onion very well. You can see the onion paste has changed color and dried out as well. I'm going to add the tomato pulp. For the tomato pulp, I've boiled one tomato and then peeled off the skin and churned it into a pulp. Cook the tomato pulp for at least 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, I'm going to add some churned curd or yogurt. After the curd is mixed well, I'm going to add the spinach puree. Mix it well. And now I'm going to add the remaining spices, that is garam masala, salt to taste and half a teaspoon of sugar. I'm going to add a little bit of water, around half a cup and let it cook for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, I'm going to add the boiled potatoes. I've used boiled potatoes but you can even fry them. Instead of potatoes, you can even use paneer, boiled corn or even finely chopped vegetables or even some koftas you can add it in this gravy. So this becomes a nice base for your green gravy. And the aloo palak is ready. There are two tips to keep this gravy nice and green. Don't cook the gravy for very long, so make sure your tomatoes, onions and everything is well cooked before that. And also don't cover it after you finish cooking, because once you cover the gravy and while it's hot, it's going to change colour immediately. So this is a healthy combination of spinach and potatoes. I'm sure the kids will love it too. So do try it at home and subscribe to Rachi Food. Bye-bye.